Hey guys, I had literally the worst nightmare of my life last night. I can't even remember the last time I had a nightmare. Literally horrible and I never want to experience it ever again. Okay, I just wiped my face with my favorite wipes. Also, I've been double cleansing recently. I've been using the Rice Water Bright Cleansing Oil. This actually ruins my makeup. Then I go into my Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser on top. This makes my skin crispy clean. This removes all the remaining dirt on my skin. Rice Water Bright uses vegan formulas, which gives me the most beautiful, radiant results. This serum gives you brighter skin results within four weeks and also makes your skin more hydrated. And look at that gorgeous glow. I've been trying out Korean skincare recently, and let's just say it's life-changing. <laughs> Going in with one of my favorite eye creams, it's their vegan eye cream. That was so satisfying. <laughs> This eye cream brightens up your dark circles within four weeks. I personally don't have any dark circles, but I like to use this for hydration. Okay, now I'm just finishing off with their vegan cream. I'm not sure if I should put any makeup on today. Because my skin's been looking pretty good recently. I might just curl my lashes a little bit. Okay, I curled my lashes a little bit. My skin is looking so glowy and fresh, so I'm not going to do any face makeup. Bye, guys! Hey, run get ready with me for the day i'm not really doing it too much today it's sort of just like a running errands type of a day i'm getting my eyebrows done first and that's at 10 o'clock so it's nine o'clock right now so i literally have forever until i have to leave but i'm so excited to get them done because i haven't getting them done in so long i'm really starting to run out of these cleansing jobs but i have a whole nother bottle although i feel like these make me look really changed but after a few hours or so they just completely fade and you can't even tell you have them on anymore and as you can see my hair is no longer straightened i washed it this morning and i'm actually so happy to have my natural hair back i feel like having my hair straightened makes it so much easier to just like get ready in the morning and all of that at the same time i also miss my natural hair also i was really exciting to tell you guys well it probably won't be as exciting for you guys but the last piece of my furniture for my bedroom came so it can finally be all done the last thing I needed was just my new bed because I got a new bed so I can have a new bed frame and all of this stuff. And I'm so excited to finally put it together. I think we're going to try putting it together this weekend. But if it doesn't get done this weekend, then that'll be next weekend's job. But as soon as it's done, I'll give you guys a room tour of my new room. Okay, let's do my lashes now. After we get our eyebrows done, I think we're also going to go see a travel agent because we're looking to go on holidays during Easter time or something like that. So I think that's another thing we need to do. I need to go pick up a package as well. And just, there's a few other things, but. I'm also going out for dinner tonight. I completely forgot about that. I'm just going to this little Italian restaurant, which I'm so excited for. I love Italian food. And lastly, I've earned some, actually no, I went out an eyebrow gel because I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. But I'll just brush them out with a spoolie. Okay, that's good enough. And then for my hair, I'm going to slick it back into a ponytail. Okay, my hair's all done, but that's it. And I hope you'll have an amazing day. Hey guys, get rid of me. Okay, I've had these braids in for so long. Like, look at how much hair is on the side of them. So let's hope my hair looks. I'm kind of scared. Okay, just look good. Please look good, girl. Please look good. Oh, wow. It's really pretty. Like, what was it? Please look good, girl. And then you look good. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm um, obviously, well, most of the time, yeah, I'm probably going to wear it like half behind my ear. I'm just kind of brush combing through the top. So it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm going to put some oil in it because it is really dry and really frizzy. So, yeah. I'm so happy today's a Friday. Like, this week went by really fast. That's really good because, like, it's good when it goes by fast. Okay, I'm just going to put on a little bit of hand lotion because my hands are really dry. But, yeah. We're not going to talk about all the straight ends. Um, okay, I think my week has gone pretty well this i mean yeah i think my week has been pretty good um i don't know what happened this week oh i went snowboarding Wednesday, so i got to miss school which is really nice i love missing school since i never miss school like i'm one of those people that i'll be like literally like dead like i'll have a minute to get ready and i'm going to school which, I mean, my attendance looks great, but I have missed two days now for snowboarding. And all my friends are like, oh my gosh, guys, Alyssa's actually missing school. And I was like, like, I'm literally... Yesterday at my volleyball practice, we played with the U18s, and 
The girl I played with was so nice. I mean, we did like a big sister, little sister, so we paired up with them. And the girl I was with was really sweet and nice, so that was good because I was scared about that. But you know, all went good, so never let fear scare you. Well, I mean, never mind. That was not a great um sentence. Sorry, let me open. Okay, I'm trying to get like the last out of this bottle because it is really empty. Okay, just putting on some moisturizer to set in my skin. I'm putting on the lightweight one first, and I'm going to put on the heavier weight one just so everything locks in. Today's going to be a little bit more of a bummy day. I mean, there's no need to look super amazing. It is just a Friday. And last but not least, it's like my favorite part, some Vaseline because my lips are dry. Okay, let's do my eyebrows. I have actually five minutes, so I do need to hurry a little bit. Yeah. Okay, fill them in a little bit so I'm not bald. I want to look nice today. I mean, I always want to look like nice. I don't think anyone ever wants to not look nice. Like, you know, I mean, I guess if you're trying to scare someone away. I love the looking nice. I just feel like I don't look nice all the time. But, you know, that happens. So it's okay, guys. Blush. Bronzer. Highlighter. My lashes. Okay, lips. Okay, guys. Bye. Good morning, guys. Get ready with me. I'll never understand people who just don't think. Like, you're telling me you thought about doing this action and you didn't think about any of the consequences like watching people make the wrong decision it just makes me like cringe people who are like oh i'm just doing it for the plot is the plot jail is the plot getting grounded <laughs> like what, you, what i love this elf blush so much i get where teenagers are like supposed to be irresponsible or whatever i don't know how much i was that could be too much definitely too much i know we're supposed to be like teenagers and be irresponsible my dad always said to be responsibly irresponsible like know exactly what you're doing and exactly why you're doing it and how to get out of it like don't be dumb i see people out here risking their lives to impress somebody else and it's like your world will end and your world will not end if that girl or boy does not like you like come on let's get it together and even if it's not something dangerous if it's just dumb and it can cause drama or like you're gonna have to reverse that action at some point why would you do the action just think about it then again this is all just my opinion and i'm just a girl on the internet anyways i gotta go have a great day i love you so much bye hey guys get ready with me for school but i have to leave in 10 minutes so i kind of have to speed run today and i kind of changed the angle a bit and i don't know if i like it or not I also just posted my updated skincare routine. It is my pin video. Currently 7.20. Oh wait, my clock here says it's 7.30. Okay, well, then I have like still more time, but I want to like edit this video. Also, I'm literally going to school like this. I did change my necklace though. I'm wearing Kendra Scott. I haven't worn this in forever, but like it's actually cute. Like, I like it. I don't really like the color on me. It just, it just looks bland. So for this summer, I want this necklace again. But I want it in a different color. Let me know what color I should get. So what, guys, I'm going to the Bahamas during spring break. I'm so excited for the Bahamas. I'm definitely going to be doing a vlog for you guys. I know I always say this, like, I'm going to post a vlog on my YouTube. But I swear I'll do it this time. Also, I'm so sorry for not posting for four days. That was so, like, uh, I didn't, like, forget to post or anything. I just did not have the time. And I had, like, zero motivation. And because currently, I've been going to bed at, like, three every single day. And if not, like, four. And so, last night, I went to bed at three. And that is, like, not good for me, like, at all. I'm just so excited for the Bahamas. And I want to get my nails done, too. So it'll be like all like kind of like summery themed. Yesterday was like a social justice like workshop and my mom didn't like make me go. Also, what is up with the shade? Currently 7.33 and need to like hurry up because I leave at 7.40. So I feel like I need to do like a little blush. Like I feel like this is not cute at all. This weekend, my best friend is post or er, hosting a Valentine's party, and I can't wait. Time to cut off first. I'm gonna spray. I put a oh my god, that went into my nose. Oh my god, I inhaled it too.
Also guys, I will be posting a hair care routine because I know you guys have been wanting that as well. Okay, that's it. Bye guys. Rare Beauty dropped a new body care collection and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts. Can you see who's on this box? Selena Gomez sent me PR and we are going to review her new body care collection. I'm pretty sure I'm the last one to review this, but I felt like I should because they sent this to me and I'm truly so grateful. I'm so excited about this. I never thought Rare Beauty would send me PR. So thank you to Selena and thank you to the Rare Beauty team for this. This is a huge accomplishment for me and also I'm just so honored that I got my hands on this. All of that being said, this is going to be an honest review, so if I don't like it, I'm going to let you know. I've already opened it and taken out the candle that comes in it, so that's not going to be in there when we open this, but look at the card they sent. She literally looks so pretty. Selena I need to know this lip combo because I am obsessed with it. I have to give it to Selena the packaging and the aesthetic is truly so pretty. Literally gonna keep this box forever, but I'm gonna be honest, I was just a little bit confused by this collection coming out. I know Selena is a super big advocate for mental health and just like wellness all over, so I totally understand that. But I felt like for Rare Beauty, it didn't really make sense for them to come out with like a body care collection simply just because their brand is makeup. I don't really feel like it goes along with like the beauty brand, but I do understand why she put it out. We're gonna smell this and see if I like the scent. To me, that's quite honestly the biggest deal. Does it smell good? I know the scent is supposed to be very calming and like good for anxiety because she's a super big advocate for it, which I do feel like is pretty cool this is the body and hair fragrance so we're gonna spray it and see how i feel okay first of all the mister is so pretty okay i did smell this yesterday and at first i thought i didn't like it but the more it settles the more calming it is i don't feel like this is like your average scent i really do feel like this is like a very calming scent that's the best way to describe it i give this like a seven out of ten i'm pretty sure they all have the same scent but i'm smelling it anyways the lotion smells good. I'll have to try this formula. I haven't tried it, so I don't really know about the formula, but the packaging is super cute. This is what I want to talk about because to be honest, I thought this was going to be trash. Dude, this hand cream is so good. I did use this yesterday when I opened the package because I was too excited. And I actually think this is like worth the money. It makes your hands feel so hydrated. And the packaging is supposed to be for like calming you down. And I did it yesterday. Like I looked up how to use this whole collection and this is truly genius like i actually love this and will be putting this in my purse because i feel like that is super good for relieving stress i really do like the hand cream and this is probably the one product out of this collection i would go out to repurchase because i'm obsessed with it like this truly is very helpful and it just feels really good the hand cream is also super moisturizing i also saw a lot of people saying they didn't really like this like this was their least favorite thing but i honestly absolutely love this i also used this yesterday i feel like it is very very calming and helpful it's like supposed to be for again stress and things and i'm somebody that uses essential oils because i have migraines a lot so i kind of feel like that's what this is and i really do like this pin for that it's like an aromatherapy pin and i will say this smells a little bit different to the other things this has a little bit more of like a pepperminty smell which i love so i know i'm gonna get a ton of use out of this i will say i do like this collection i'm not gonna lie when i originally saw it come out i kind of rid it off like it wasn't gonna be that good but the hand cream and this pin I'm going to be using like I am actually obsessed with these products and I will 1000% repurchase them like I truly love them. I also feel like I really will like this lotion especially for bedtime. I feel like my least favorite product is probably everybody's which is the body and hair mist simply just because I'm more of like a vanilla perfumey girl and this is kind of more like I said like a bedtime calming scent so I don't feel like I would wear this during the day as much as I would use these other products if that makes sense. Those are my thoughts. Are you going to get this collection? What are you going to get from the collection? I love you guys. Bye. There's a huge difference between makeup makeup products and then non-makeup makeup products. Let me explain. Know about girl math, but this is girl science. So listen up and welcome to class. The setting powder. Any setting powder really, but this is Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish setting powder that is so hard to say. This is a makeup makeup product. Why? Because if you're having a no makeup day, you're not gonna put this on. Like, what is it setting? You know what I mean? Another makeup makeup product is Full coverage foundation, or just foundation in general, unless it's like skin tinty foundation. Elf creamy concealer makeup product, because if you put this on on a no makeup day, you're not gonna do that, it's gonna look weird. You're not just gonna have like crazy set eyes and then nothing else, you know what I mean? Then there's like the, the Venn diagram, right? The ones that overlap. So we have the makeup makeup products that can also go as no makeup makeup products. Examples of this could be like, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, or the e.l.f. Halo Glow, or the Bronzy Drops, for example. You can wear this and still kind of play it off as like, I just had really good skincare day. You know, my skin looks real good today. Now let's move to the no makeup makeup products. I tend to keep them in my purse because when I run out of the house with no makeup on, 
I can apply them later on for the no makeup makeup look. One of my favorite no makeup makeup products is the Jones Road, the face pencil. You can literally apply this, come on, when you're wearing no makeup, cover up a couple spots, and it still looks like you got no makeup on. However, when I have a full face of makeup, I usually don't apply this under my eyes or something because it's thicker and it's gonna move the makeup around. Do you get it? Do you get, do you get where I'm coming from? The products that don't really work on a full face of makeup but work really well by themselves. Those are the no makeup products. Now this one could be up for debate. I consider this a no makeup product. I don't love applying the milk lip and cheek tint when I have a full face of makeup on. Sometimes I feel like it can move what's underneath it. But if I'm having a no makeup day and I run out of the house and oop, I'm in traffic and I'm like, wait, I wish I put some makeup on. It goes on so nicely when you have nothing on. And not only that, but you can put it on your eyes, your lips, your nose, your cheeks, your fucking whole face if you want. Now I'll tell you the issue about the no makeup makeup products. I'll show you one of my favorites. And this is, I have a big issue with this one. Jones Road Miracle Balm, <laughs> the sand in it. One of my favorite products of literally all time. Now that's an issue because when I have a full face of makeup, set foundation, set setting powders, all that shit, I can't really put this on without it like moving the makeup. You know what I mean? I can, but it's not going to be the star of the show like it should be. However, if you're doing a no makeup day, you run out of the house and oh, you found this in your purse. It is the star of the show. And it is still a new makeup makeup look. Do you get what I'm saying? Back to just makeup products, Dior Backstage Blush. You're not putting this on when you're having no makeup day. Like, what is it sticking to? Where is it? You know what I mean? Some products just work so much better as no makeup makeup products. Some brands just do it so much better. Jones Road, for example. Merit. And this is perfect because I don't always want to do the exact same makeup routine or the same makeup look. I want... And so the look I'm gonna get with the Miracle Balm versus the look I'm getting with the Backstage Blush are literally two different girls. Like, I don't know her, and I don't, she doesn't know her. This girl's going out to some club or some dinner. <coughs> Jesus. And this girl's probably at the beach or the park. One girl's wearing high heels and a dress, one girl's wearing a bathing suit. Different people, different vibes, different products, different everything. Am I being clear? Anyway, I love no makeup makeup products. They are, they make me so happy. Like they literally are just to enhance your beauty that you already have, you know? But I also love makeup products because I love a good beat. I love the art of makeup, so it's totally cool to have both. And you actually should have both and have that diversity. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, do you get it? Anyways, comment some of your favorite either makeup products or no makeup makeup products. Or ask me which one's which. And we can play a little game in the comments. Eh? Girl science. Class is dismissed. Get ready with me for school. Okay, so it is 7.09 now. I think my friend will be here to pick me up around 8. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. I've been trying to wake up early because I wanted to go on a run. But then I woke up too early and it was like pitch dark outside. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. And then like for some reason out of nowhere, my other alarm just stopped working. And I was like, okay, I think I'm going to do very minimal makeup today. And just like put a tiny bit of foundation on like some marks I have. And I'm just using the Neutrogena Serum Foundation. And there's also a basketball game today. So I gotta leave school early. I think we leave at 1.50. Or no, we get excused at 1.50 and then we leave at 2. I mean, it'll be fun. I'll be with my friend Ella the whole time. But it's also a two hour drive. Who am I kidding? I'll probably just nap the whole time. But like still... I'm so freaking tired right now. I went to sleep at 1 in the morning. I woke up at like 6.30. Also, if you guys are looking for like the clean girl fluffy brow and you need a product for it, the Too Faced Brow Wig is so good. Like, literally look at my brows and I only use this, so. This weekend should be fun. I work Saturday and then Sunday I'm going shopping. And then next week going to be really fun because I have a skiing trip. And I'm going on with like Maria and my boyfriend is going to be there. And then like some people from summer camp are also going to be there. Which will be really fun to see them. Oh my gosh, this is so random. But you want to know one thing I hate? I hate when people post like, oh my gosh, this song is going viral. Oh my gosh, no. When it was like already a TikTok song that's been viral. 
like I saw someone post yesterday and they're like, oh no, the Bob Marley's grandson song is getting viral on TikTok. I'm like, first of all, I'm pretty sure it was hard launched on TikTok. And second of all, it just came out, like, duh. And like, wouldn't you want to be happy for the artists and be like, oh, they're finally making money? Like, I get to a certain extent, like, if you like the artist forever and like people who are dissing on them is starting to like them because it's a trend, like, that's annoying. Like, I hate when people try to be original for something that's so basic. Like, being basic is fine, too. Like, it's popular for a reason. Like, I also hate when you're talking about an artist and they're like, oh, what's your favorite song? And you say the song. And then it's, like, one of their popular songs. And they're like, oh, you're a poser. Like, that's a popular song. Like, you said pick a favorite song. You didn't say which one. Jeez. Like, I can't stand when people just think being basic is wrong. Like, it's really not that deep at the end of the day. Who cares? Like, I remember this guy a long time ago. He DM'd me on Instagram. And he was talking about, like, how my Air Forces were so basic or whatever. And then, like, how I was so unoriginal. And then he tried, like, showing off, like, these Jordans he had while wearing a Nike tech. As if that's not basic, too. Anyways, that's just my little thing about that. I... I need to make one of those, like, TikTok videos where it's, like, things that I hate. But I feel like that'd be a long video. Because there's so many things people can do that just, like, give me the actual ick. Like, you know. For example, if a girl gives someone a compliment and the other girl is like, yeah, I know. Or, like, thinks. Like, shut up. Like, I hate when people are so fucking condescending like that. Like, you can calm down and act like a decent human being is it that hard to say thank you like i have never had someone act like that towards me but trust if they did i would be taking back that compliment like i would be acting like a hurt teenage boy after getting rejected i would be like nah you're ugly like i can't with people like that it actually grosses me out okay i'm just gonna do my blush really quick but anyways that is it for my get ready with me love you guys so much bye Take me for school part like 100 something. I feel like I've done so many get ready with me in my life. Like I can't even keep count anymore. Today I am layering because it is freezing outside and I like cannot stand the cold. Don't get me wrong. I love doing these get ready with me. But like I can't wait for the day that I'm not doing get ready with me for school. I just like don't like school and like I don't know. I'm not getting ready for anything fun. I'm just going to school. So it kind of sucks but... It'll be over soon. I have 116 days until graduation, not counting the weekends. So that's pretty good. Literally cannot wait until graduation, guys. Like, I'm going to be so excited on that day. I will never have to go through high school again. And before you're like, these are the best times of your life. Like, you should cherish high school. I've gone through plenty of high school years. You know, I've had good, like, high school years. Just senior year is, like, too much. Like, I need to get out of here. <laughs> it's getting to the point where, like... I'm not really wanting to like try like I'm getting like really tired of doing school all the math all the like all the stuff that just doesn't really matter like I'm just done with it I thought my senior year I'd be like okay let's finish strong you know but no junior year was the most try hard I've ever gone in school senior year I'm just kind of like ready to, for it to be over so I'm I'm like losing motivation like I'm like okay I'm almost near the end like I'm almost done so I'm just like trying to push through <laughs> you know though I need to stop complaining because this week I only have like three days because we didn't have school yesterday and so that is really good like that's not a lot also guys i was gonna go live um yesterday but i ended up falling asleep at like two i was so tired so i might just go live this weekend coming up um but not this week because some of you guys like have school and probably won't be able to join so yeah stay tuned for that i might go live like maybe saturday also like i love doing heatless curls because sometimes they turn out good but i also hate it because they sleep terrible i slept kind of bad last night i kept waking up and like remembering i had heatless curls in so i couldn't lay like a certain way and i was so tired though but i knew that i wanted my hair to look pretty today so i just dealt with it so we're gonna see if they actually look good today once i take them out i feel like they'll look okay um since they like stayed in all night but we'll see okay i just finished the mascara and now i'm gonna take the heatless curls out and pray that they look good Okay, hang on. We're not going to get excited yet because we don't know what the other side looks like. Oh, it looks a little bit tight. Uh-oh. Okay. This is not bad. We're going to let them fall and then we're going to come back after they fall. Okay, so the curls have kind of fallen. I think they look good. I mean, this is like probably the best they've ever looked because sometimes they turn out like too tight and then they look really bad. But this is the back of them. 
Anyways, this is the look. I hope you guys have a great day. Get ready with me whilst I tell you stuff I hate about school. There is a lot. If your phone gets taken away, it's taken away for a week. And for instance, this week, if your phone gets taken away this week, I don't think you'll get it back until you come back from school, which is literally out of order. The detentions, like, tell me why we have a Saturday, which is three hours, SLT on a Friday, which is two hours, and then a formal, which is an hour. Oh, and then if you're late to lesson, you could literally be two minutes late. If you have the wrong teacher, you're done for because you're going to be getting a 30 minute after school. 30 minutes of my time wasted just because I was two minutes late. Let's be real. I hate when the teacher actually on calls you and no one comes to pick me up for the toilet. I literally just go there myself because there's no way. And there's this one lovely office lady. Every time I need to use the toilet, she always just opens it for me, even though she's not meant to, but slt i hate the fact that every morning they stand at the gate that everyone walks through and like checks their uniform to see if they have their blazers lanyards and ties on and this one time when we came back from a break right we specifically came in at 9 a.m just so they could check everybody's uniform when i tell you that lasted like a good two hours like my school is literally so extra for no reason we have a one-way system ever since covid but covid's not even around like that anymore like it's so annoying and the corridors get so packed another thing is i hate corridors like oh my gosh please don't there's so many slow walkers but i feel so bad to like barge them or push them so i just wait i hate when i hear that i have a cover teacher hold on i love hearing that i have a cover teacher but it's when it's that cover teacher like the cover teacher that acts like as if she's a teacher herself like she's so strict and i'm just like oh that's so annoying another thing the last thing i hate about school is like when you're doing your lip liner or like lip gloss or just adding vaseline to your lips girl stop doing your makeup like it's just not necessary i don't consider lip gloss as makeup it's not on my face it is but it's not at the same time that's it y'all bye